Welcome, I'm Andres Mechep, a New Jersey immigration attorney with offices in Long Branch and Lakewood. Today, USCIS is publishing their final rules for what they are now calling the Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver. I just finished a, phone, a teleconference with DHS Director Mallorca and a representative of the Department of State and I, I couldn't wait to talk to you about it. So in, in this video series, I'm going to describe to you what the program is, what the requirements are, and I'm going to define some of the terms so that you understand what this program actually is. So come on, let's get to it. So in this video, I want to talk to you about what is the Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver. And to answer that question, I first have to explain the problem. If you are out of status in the United States, whether you enter the country uh, with permission and overstayed, or whether you entered with, without permission, meaning you just crossed the, the border, you are accumulating unlawful presence. Now, let's say you marry a United States citizen. Uh, he or she can petition for you. The problem is you cannot adjust your status, meaning you cannot become a lawful permanent resident from within the United States. You have to go back to your home country, apply to the U.S. consulate there for an immigration visa. Now, the moment that you stepped out of the United States, if you accumulated sufficient unlawful presence, as USCIS defines the term, you will not be able to return for three or 10 years. Now, there is a waiver program that you can apply for, but you can't do that until you get to the consulate of your home country. And that's only after the consulate determines that you're not otherwise inadmissible. So the effect that this had is very few people that could qualify for it actually did. Because the reality is they could find themselves for 12 months or longer outside the United States with no guarantee that they'd be able to come back to see their family. So President Obama has instituted this unlawful presence waiver program. Now, since it comes from the president, you can't change the law. Only the way the agencies interpret it. And the new rules being published today state that the waiver that I previously discussed will be able to be applied here in the U.S. So what that means is, not only is your United States citizen spouse applying for you here and that process is being adjudicated. But after that, the waiver that would prevent you from returning to the United States is also going to be heard here. Once that's approved, you will still have to return to your home country. But at that point, you're only going back to request the immigrant visa. That significantly shortens the process. And the waiver is usually the more difficult part of the program. As such, it is anticipated that this provisional unlawful presence waiver can help a significant number of people. I hope you found this video helpful. The provisional unlawful waiver program will only forgive unlawful presence. So if there are other actions or other waivers that you need, you may not qualify for this program. Also, keep in mind, you cannot apply before March 4th, 2013. So beware of notarios or immigration consultants that say otherwise. For something as detailed as this program, you absolutely have to speak to a qualified immigration attorney. You do not want to find yourself outside of the United States when you first learn that you will not be able to return for 10 years and will not be able to see your family. At that point, it's already too late. Learn how to find a qualified immigration attorney by downloading my free book, The American Dream Shattered, Dangers of Immigration Fraud. You can find it at my website. If this video has helped you, please let us know on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, or on my blog on my website.
I look forward to your immigration success.